Good afternoon, inmates and friends. We are here for week two of the Community 100, and my camera will never be in the right place no matter what I do, because there's no good place to be except, you know, starring right here in a Darwin Project stream. How are you doing today? Let's get some things moving here in the chat. I want to see people get excited today. Oh, we're going to see some kill, kill, kills. There we go. Infernum's in. He's excited. How's everybody doing today? It is a Saturday. We are all here for the Community 100, uh, which I guess we're now calling the Community Showdown. The name has changed a little bit in the last couple weeks. We have got two very exciting matches for everybody today. I want to start us out here, if I can find the right command on my bot, with... Oh, Pretzel, you're not playing music anymore. Don't lie to people. Don't lie to people. We can't have that going on anymore. Let's just close him down right now. He's gone. He's out of here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be hosting a couple streams today. Now, if you want to follow along and see how your favorite uh, inmates are doing today, right there is a link. That's going to show you our current live scoreboard that we've got going on today. Uh, at the top of that scoreboard, you're also going to see this handy-dandy scoring chart right here which is telling you exactly how our competitors are going to break down their points today. As you can see, there are 10 points available for each player who comes in first place, but there are still 7 points for coming in second. The scale moves down as you go, but there are also bonus points for each and every kill you score. That means you could come in second place, get 4 kills, maybe 5, and still be better than the first place player. So it's all about playing aggressive, it's all about getting in there, it's all about getting those hits in, uh, and we're really excited about uh, today's system. Last week, it was a very exciting time. Uh, myself and uh, Sing Vogel were the hosts last week. She's over on Twitch. I'm over here. This week, we've actually got three different show directors going uh, for the uh, community environment today. Mr. Movie, it's good to see you here today. How are you feeling? Uh, so there are a couple streams available over on uh, Twitch TV. Uh, that information has been tweeted about here and there. And when we are done here today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be sending you over to the official Darwin Project channel on Twitch for the final three rounds. You'll be able to see how people are doing, where they've ranked, and what, how many points people have scored, all by following that live link I just sent you. But don't leave right away when we're done here today, because we are also going to be posting a survey we would like everybody to fill out. Let us know how we're doing in these events what you think, what we could do better, what you'd like to see happen in these events. And this week, our competitors will be playing for that gold mask you see in that scoreboard image right there. And everybody who places in the final three rounds will actually be receiving a silver variant of that skin as well. It's going to be an exciting round today. We've got a lot of really good players. Amazing Mr. Movie. Yes, Darwin Project is a great game. I am so glad you're giving it a try. I haven't tried it on Xbox myself yet, but I have had a real good time, even though I'm horrible. There's a reason why yours truly here is a show director. I don't have what it takes to be a player. In fact, as people have been playing more and more and they're getting better and better at the game, I'm doing worse and worse. I have not scored. A, I've scored, I think, three kills in my various matches this week. But I was just reading, and I believe it said on Twitter that they've, uh, I want to say it was on Twitter somewhere. If it's not out already, I don't want to get myself in trouble here. If it's not out already, they have just announced that skill-based matchmaking has come or will be coming very soon here. Hey, Lagme, good to see you, man. Will be coming very soon here to Darwin Project. That means if you're a hopeless newbie like me, you don't have to worry about logging in and watching one of these Community 100 people come in and steal all the thunder. You have a chance because you're going to be playing against other people who are of relative skill to yourself. It's going to be a really good time. Yes, I like this shirt here. Mr. Lagby, one of the finer streamers here on uh, Mixer. You can uh, click on his name. You can give him a follow. In fact, anybody who's a streamer here, let's, let's raise your hands out there if you're a streamer here on Mixer. If you see people who are raising their hands right now, you can go ahead and you can click on their names. You can follow them in one touch, and you can see some of the other amazing streams here on Mixer. Remember, here on Mixer, we are running the FTL protocol. <clears throat> that stands for Faster Than Light. What that means is what you're hearing me say right now is coming to you a quarter second or less after I say it. There's no five second, 10 second, 15 second wait. When I say something to you, it pops up. If the chat says it, if you talk to me, assuming I can pay attention, I'm going to see it happening right over here in the chat as it happens in real time. I'd also like to thank my moderator who's here at the moment. We've got Infernum. He has checked into the channel. 
Uh, I've got another moderator who's lurking at the moment. I'm not going to call him out. And later, we should be joined by uh, Coder, my third moderator. If you guys have questions, if there's something you need, let these guys know. They will take excellent, excellent care of you. Looks like things are moving forward here. I'm watching the Discord, so I'm going to be jumping my attention back and forth just a little bit. Um, again, make sure you check out that leaderboard. That's going to be popping up about every 10 minutes or so, depending on how fast my chat is moving today. That is where you're going to see who's scoring how many points and uh, also what directors are hosting which players. Maybe you have a player you're looking uh, particularly forward to seeing play today. I would love to keep you here in my channel all day long, but check that scoreboard. That's going to tell you who is in what match and where you can watch their pre-qualifying rounds. Uh, it's also going to be updated constantly as the stream is going so that you know exactly who's scoring how many points, which can give you a lot of information about who gets what kills and what's going on in every game. <clears throat> there are a lot of conversations happening over here on the uh, on our community Discord, so I'm just keeping an eye out here. Match G, okay. Uh, today, I will be hosting matches E and F. If you're here in my audience and you are in match E, by the way, make sure you've got an eye on the event news channel as we speak. Fire Asuna is asking for you to check in right now. Make sure he's keeping up. All right. You know what? It sounds like we've got all nine players ready. Fire, um, I assume we don't start early. I assume we're still going to start at 4 o'clock. I can go ahead and fire up a lobby, though, and we can start talking to people. Why don't I do that? Let me get you that information right now. Firing up that private match right now. I'm going to pass that information along to my Discord moderator who's helping me out here. By the way, everybody, make sure that you, if you are a fan of this game and you want to know what's going on at all times, do yourself a favor. Join the Discord. Uh, Infernum, can you type up the Discord for me? It is just discord.gg slash Darwin. Not my Discord. Much as I love that, I should make a I should make a command for the uh, for the for the Darwin Project Discord. I'd love to have you all on my Discord as well. All right, just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have started up the lobby. I don't believe we're going to be starting the game before four o'clock, but we can at least get people in here, let them start swinging their axes, shooting some arrows at each other. Maybe we can even get a sneak peek at what builds our competitors are going to be using today. It sounds like all of my competitors for my first match have checked in. So today we're going to be uh, featuring Lil Scarecrow, Griff, Adrian, Dank Lull, Maho, Lollyologist, Lollyologist, Lollyologist. I've seen that name a lot on the uh, Discord community, um, Darwin Project Discord. You're in a hundred Discords already, Mr. Movie. That is incredible. We've also got a Ravenclaw, Irish, Midget, and Enta will be joining us. There's little Scarecrow checking in, the first in. Hi, Scarecrow. How you doing today? Hey, man. Pretty good. Question for you. I've been having some audio issues all day. How does my microphone sound to you? Perfect. Awesome. That is what I want to hear. I'm going to make one small change. Does it still sound good? Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, I'm glad to see you here. Lollyologist <laughs> just checked in as well. Lolly, it's good to see you. Correct to see as well. Midget, walk it in that door. I do love that icon, Midget. Oh, thank you. I may be biased because it's... Had it for like seven years. Is that an Arctic Fox or is that an Arctic Wolf? Uh, Fox. Well, it looked very canine, so I was a little bit biased at first. I'll try not to hold that against you, though, in the match. <laughs> Well, you better not. <laughs> it is also because important right now to know, ladies and gentlemen, this is an interactive stream. Because this is a community event, you, the community, will be voting on what happens and who gets each of the powers I, as the show director, use. In fact, I will be taking your suggestions on which of my powers I should use and when. So be active in the chat. Tell me what you want to see happen. Tell me when you want to see it happen. And make sure you hit those voting buttons when they come up. Got it. Go ahead and move that scoreboard out of the way right now. I was trying to automate that, but my uh, stream deck did not want to catch up. I'm going to take one more look at seeing if it's caught up to the fact that I've added that yet, so I can pull that up and down as needed. Oh, I can now. Test that out real quick with a button. Look at that. There's the scoreboard as needed. We are filling up quick. Adrian, Dank, Ravenclaw, and Irish. Good to see you all. We're starting early. 
early, boys. Let's get it. I'm not. Even, I don't yep, think I'm allowed it. to push the button until four o'clock, but we can get you all in the lobby and get you guys some practice here. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna, gonna need go, it. Uh, oh god. Up and I cereal. think. Some Got Ravenclaw over here sporting last week's finalist outfit. Oh, she looks looking good. That's gonna make Ravenclaw a target today. You can count on that. I know from experience wearing uh, okay. black clothes in these lobbies. That's a good way to get yourself beat up early. That actually looks pretty good. Oh, look at them all gathering around here. Let's get them all lit up. Let's get them the whole spotlight because I'm sure that doesn't blind you at all. I got you, Fire. I'm glad you're here, buddy. Woo! Woo! Don't shoot at me. I'll say, I'll turn off the light. Look at all the females this is getting into. <laughs> all the ladies gathering around. They love the outfit. All right, everybody. We will be starting here in about uh, 12 more minutes, unless I get word that I'm allowed to start early, and I don't think that's going to happen. Deathstrike Virus, thank you very much for that follow. I've seen you around in the community. I really appreciate that. I am one away from 1,300, guys, and that would really make my day. Keeping an eye back here over on the chats, making sure everything's going smoothly. Got to watch my chat, and I got to watch the official Discord chat. It's a good time. You got it, Farah. Thank you for updating me on that information. We will not be starting early, gentlemen uh, and ladies. Uh, we will be starting sharply at 4 o'clock because there's going to be some announcements about that as we go. Hey, Inta, you look really cool, man. Can I ask where you got that skin? I mean, like, I just, wow, thanks, really man. Good. Your skin looks really good, too. <laughs> Yo, watch this, though. Get a Fashion room. show. Ooh, you're going for the little style points. Okay, I like the red. Maybe I'll wear some red pants. All right, guys, my shift key's broken, so don't shoot me, all right? Uh oh, no shooting, huh? Oh shit. I'm not even in the game, you can't shoot me. We broke the code. <laughs> I know, but Smell I have to turn it back on. Now the the top winner of this week's tournament, I believe, gets the gold version of that outfit, but the finalists will also be receiving that silver outfit. I think the silver version looks better. <laughs> the, you can yeah. see the detail a little bit better on the silver, but I gotta say that gold does stand out. But do you really want to stand out in a battle royale game? If only you could uh, s could stand out here in the lobby, but still wear the the ever popular light blue teal outfit once you get in game. <laughs> it's the perfect camouflage. We need to give feedback to the developers and let them know that we want to have two outfits: a lobby outfit and an in-game right. outfit. Whoever is running snowballs, I'm literally coming for you first. Just so you know that. <laughs> It's a snowball. I can't uh, it's, snowballs. It's the thing you can put it down and when people walk over okay. it, they get tracked by everybody. <laughs> it's like ding, right. ding, 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 ding. Well, you know. They allowed? can't hear me right now, everybody. But again, Tripwires? I want to make it very clear that this is your game today. I will be influencing the, in the events of this game. I will be choosing the powers like I always yeah, do. Yeah, so what you gotta do is if you go in front of the, one of the radars and the houses and press Alt and F4 at the same time, um, you should become invincible for the rest of the game. Uh, I mean, in a way that's invincible in that you can't be killed anymore, but... Are we, are we gonna be 10 in this game? Uh, it's my understanding we've only got 9 for this game. Somebody did not check in. Oh. Alright. So we're Death Strike, for thank you for that host. Uh, we will My be starting uh, pretty sharply at 4, yes. Here comes Lil. I'd like to uh, remind again my audience, as more and more people are trickling in here and watching you guys, you will be deciding the uh, the fate of today's players. You will be voting on and all the powers that we the use. the pitch, a little high outside. Oh, have we got a baseball game going? Hit by pitch! So and he hits fire. it. And they hit it back. Fire. There goes the snowball fight. <laughs> if you've, if you've uh, been playing Darwin Project, you probably have seen this in the lobbies by now, but if you can keep hitting those baseballs back and forth, I'm sorry, baseballs, those snowballs back and forth, a counter will appear. Uh, my personal record, and I'm not very good at this game, my personal record is 13. My I've, record's 15. I've heard it's gone as high as 27. I'll be at 27 right now. Give me this. Are we gonna... You go over there. 
Can you not shoot me, dog? Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. How oh, do you? Suck. What do you do about it when it gets that high? There's nothing you can do once it gets that high. Okay, we got this. Throw another one. Someone's gonna okay, launch Raven. me up. <laughs> Is that how you do it? You gotta be up there. Hey Raven, I got you. Go over here. I'm gonna adjust my camera a little bit, everybody. I know that uh, everybody's here to see the action and not me. And I'm gonna try Dude. to sit above the radar once we get to mid-game. So this should put me pretty well above the center line. I should be well placed here. Once we're in game, I will take feedback from you, the audience, on is this a good spot or not? I try not to cover up. Last time I was, uh, I sat in the bottom right corner uh, over this way. The problem is that covers up uh, the build information for each of the players. Now I can read that information to you as we're going, but if you want to see who's rocking hunter arrows or who's maybe using a runner cloak or who's using speed boots, that information will be available to you if I'm not sitting right here in this spot. I'm going to go ahead and set myself over here. I also took off my frame from last week because I was getting feedback that you want to see the game. I get it. That's what you're here for. Ghost Wolf Star. Uh, well, I could, I could dude, be more ghostly. Am I, I allowed to use fire arrows? I can't, I can't aim with the fucking hunter arrows. I'm sorry, guys. You can use any arrows allowed. that are legal in the game. There's Ghost Wolf Star. Don't judge me. I'm dead. They need to add cloak arrows. That if I hit someone, <laughs> I go invisible for Can't three really seconds. Go up top either, because I block the names of. That'd be nice. I gotta tell you, they've made excellent use of all they the yellow heads of display space in this game, which makes it hard elf. when you're streaming if you want to show off your face. <laughs> I'm down. Just poison arrows. People think we get fucking shit ton of damage every time from them. <laughs> And I'd like to remind everybody in the Stacks audience that this is an adult stream. We are mature rated, so Stacking language will arrows. happen. It's interesting that mature channels mean immature language, but that's what we're here for. You guys know if I slam my desk, the side of my computer comes off? I'd recommend better securing that. Can you that. give us a demonstration? What'd you say? You want a demonstration? Yeah. Hey, listen closely. <laughs> oh, right then! <laughs> it sounds like Lego is falling apart in there. Alright, it's back on. We're good. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we are five minutes away from the start. Let's let my desk go get fucking yellow. <laughs> you know yeah, I accidentally vacuumed the screws and I couldn't find them. So it just, just kind of sits on there now. I will have you know, my audience was quite impressed with that display. Oh, well, that's great. We do have 25 people watching us at the moment and we are five minutes from the start, inmates. How many people did you have watching last journey? Uh, last week when we had two streamers, I was up to... I peaked at 130. Wow. They'll come in. We're closer to 4 o'clock. All the announcements had said 4 o'clock. We're going to see a rush of people between 4 and 4.10. 4 10. 4 10? Yeah, nobody's ever on time for anything. It's the internet. Oh, we have we have a no-show, don't we? Oh, no, we don't. We have we one no-show at the moment. We got nine Missing people. Garzilla. We are Garzilla about four nine. minutes to start here. We are like watching the Darwin game. Project Community Showdown Skyrim Week right now, 2. Our competitors <laughs> are going to be competing to... Uh, hey, man. We just realized this one we're going to replay this system right time. here. You can see that Stop where they place the affects how many dog. points they're going to score. And they get bonuses for every kill they manage to pull off. Uh, the top finalists from each of these first three, I'm sorry, first two qualifier matches. There's actually six matches going on today across the various streams. The top you players, the top scores from your channels over. will be moved into a finals bracket that we're going to host over on twitch.tv slash Darwin Project. You'll be able to catch the final three rounds over there tonight. Oh, we've got a fan in the audience right now rooting for Scarecrow and Ravenclaw. Can you root for two people? You know, it's They're possible to have one one favorite. They haven't ordered Ravenclaw merchandise yet, so <laughs> when they step on my level of getting Ravenclaw merchandise, let, the, let me know. Oh boy. You have Enta merchandise? They are introducing themselves as Got Coins. Oh, 
I say the way we we fill the lobby is give some random person the code. <laughs> Infernum, can you uh? And, and I should make this into a command real quick. Thing. And I I know I said that earlier about something I didn't do yet. Hey, and, uh, uh, can you type up directions for people who you. will show up and who will have those randomized well, names? You. Feel free to uh, you know talk about how you click uh, on the account thing and uh, everyone. can change your name when you're new here. Come to Ohio, I'll fly you out. Don't worry. Ohio. Not You've got my attention. I'm up here in the winnings that he gets from this tourney. Yeah. Thank you, that Cavs game. Are you in Cleveland? Uh, ten miles away from Cleveland. Yeah. Awesome. I am out actually out on the west side. About uh, if you know where the Beck Center is, that's where I'm at. Okay. Or if you've ever heard of the side quest, I can see it from my front door. Cool. No, I have not. But oh, it's a great geek bar. Are we starting at four or what? We will happening? be starting at four o'clock. I'm Yo, waiting for official word high, from Fira Dasana, my moderator, to tell me when we're going to hit that go button. But I'm also keeping an eye out on uh, the official event news and event general channels. Looks like Bella is typing something in event news as we speak, in fact. Hell to the mother... Yeah, Bella. I'm Team Jacob, though, but, you know... <laughs> Oh, hey, Sonny, you're so good. Go ahead and pop up that scoreboard one more time, buddy. There it is. That is the scoring system that will be used for this match today. All those big streamers got a $50,000 tournament. We just get a skin. <laughs> yeah, well, that, those big streamers were in a Microsoft-sponsored tournament. <laughs> oh, they don't want to see us play for I was money. waiting for someone to say it. I was, for it. <laughs> I was just thinking about it. Like, fucking <laughs> <money. laughs> <It's> fucking... <laughs> money is for weekend blowout. A skin is for life. True. He got his there. All right, right we're getting tight. So I want to yeah, ask all of you right now. Oh, I, I stopped losers. because I had to hear you. You're so low okay, in the game. Okay. Keep I going. think the director is trying to speak. I was, but that's that okay. Man. I'm just going to ask you an important question. Who's going to win? Oh, you got hit. That's cheating. Me? I'm Midget's like calling it first. Bitch. I don't hear anybody else making that claim. Midget, we're going to have to keep our eye on you. I am Commonwealth. Is this a speed or endurance test here? It's Darwin Project. It's survival of the fittest, my friend. All right, you win. I'm not trying to ruin my hand. Guys, this is how the pros warm up, okay? This is how you get a skin right here. <laughs> yeah. Let me know when your hand is sore in game and then you lose because of it. Don't worry. Okay, okay. I should stop. I should stop. You're right. Adrian's throwing snowballs. Oh, I want him, him Everyone target Adrian. Okay, everyone kill Adrian. <laughs> All right. It looks like some of the games are starting. Fira, do we have permission? All right, gentlemen, as you know, this is the Darwin Project. It is about the survival of the fittest. That means you do not have to fight fair. You just have to survive. We're going in. Hey, Good luck. Fun. All right, audience, you're going to be faced right away with a vote for your crowd favorite. That'll be the first person we talk to, and maybe we'll give them some feet, some, uh, some uh, favors here in a little bit. If you're on Xbox or on mobile, be sure to hit the interactive button right now to vote. And here we go, tabulating the scores, and Ravenclaw with 14 votes. You are the popular player this round. How's that feel? Feels amazing, man. I hope I can deliver for the boys. You know, you know I've got at least one fan here who, who seems to think you're going to do it. Got Coins was rooting for you earlier. Wasn't sure if you recognized that name. I do remember him. I know All him right. very well. I'm going to go uh, check in with some other people in the area. Enta, how you doing? Uh, not bad. Debating if I want to go for first blood on Ravenclaw and get him out, but you know. Look at you. He's a, he's a good player. You. He is. He is a good player. You know what? I've got a fight going already. I gotta go check in on that. Alrighty, check back. And here it is. Right away, we've got Maho and Lolliologist. Those are gonna be fun names to try to say in a hurry. Got coins. Thank you for that follow, my friend. And look at that. Off the ledge goes Lolliologist. We've got some hits being traded back and forth. And elsewhere on the map, Irish and Adrian G are at, going at it as well. Mayho and Lolly trading hits pretty equally here. Both of them at about half health. There's another solid hit from Mayho and Lolly. One more hit could end this battle right away. Lolly grabbing that arrow that Mayho fired and missed. 
neither of them wants to take too many risks here. It is a close, close battle. Both trying to keep a little bit of distance. Mayo trying to close the match. Lolly trying to keep him at a distance. Those axe wings are being traded back and forth. And Mayo blocks a fire arrow. Picks it up and he's returning it back at Lolly. And that is it for Lollyologist. Mayo, you have just scored first blood. That, of course, will earn an electronic here for Mayo to build whatever he wants with. And we just watched Irish over here across the map has just finished off Adrian G. Good match, my friend. Irish oh, that wasn't those. first blood director. What's going on here? You were not first blood. Unfortunately, uh, oh. we just watched Mayha take out. Uh, oh no! And we just missed that. Boy, I'm in all the wrong places at all the wrong time. Dank sneaking up on Mayho, taking out our first blood winner. All right, audience. There's too many zones for this number of people. Here comes the vote option. It should be down below the video as we speak right now. If it's not, hit F5 to refresh your screens. And uh, failing that, also if you're on mobile or on Xbox, look for an interactive button to vote right now. Oh, just as it gets there, the zone starts to go forbidden. The audience is... Listen, chat. I'm sorry, but you need to not do that. Okay? Thank you. All right, I don't know what he was saying, but okay. Meanwhile, over here, Ravenclaw sees Enta going for that electronic. Can he get that shot? Not going to be able to prevent him from taking that electronic. Does Enta know he's in there? Enta getting cold. Staying here in that uh, closing zone as we speak. Trying to find himself a map. Trying to figure out where exactly his uh, competitor is going to be. Hello, little scarecrow. How you doing today? Hey, pretty good. Good. What do you think your chances are today? Uh, I'm going to guess that it's going to be me and Raven in the final two. All right. And then it's up in the air from there. <laughs> so it's 50-50. It's a flip a coin at that point, huh? Well, it really is. is you know, we don't have anybody fighting right now. You know what I like to do? I like to see people have an option to move around. Do you think that's a fun thing? Yeah. Let's get people moving then. Gravity storm. I'm glad you did it now instead of the 1v1. I do not like to do it in the 1v1. It makes for the long, slow fights. I'd rather see it be quick and decisive. Heck yeah. Midget, we've given you some uh, options to move around, and somebody's chasing you, my friend. Yeah, I am aware. He's behind me, so I'm going to bounce off this. Nice. Oh, you're going to get some real good distance with the low gravity going on right now. Up, up, and away goes Midget. Dank, your prey is escaping you. I know, right? Gotta go for him, dude. You're gonna have to find him. Yeah. Got little scarecrow closing in. Right coming up on Dank Sushi. In front of him, thank you for helping him figure out uh, how to vote. Oh! There comes that arrow, Dank Lol popping up from behind a tree, shooting at Little Scarecrow. Little Scarecrow seems to have been caught unaware. Oh, and here we have a robot deer floating around. That's always fun. Elsewhere on the map, we'll, we've got somebody tripping over a tripwire. Both of our competitors try not wanting to get too close to each other. Also conserving those precious, precious arrows. Dank recognized that trap for what it was and managed to take out that tripwire from Little Scarecrow. Little Scarecrow, a little bit worse for the wearer from this exchange. Oh, and in comes a third competitor. Midget hanging up above the fight, waiting to pick off the victor here. And as gravity returns to normal, we've got people spread out in the area. Check in on the other half. Enta and Irish are going at it down here. Neither can quite close and get that hit, though. Audience, still too many zones open. Help me out here. 
We have picked up 42 people. The voting should be available right now beneath the uh, video window. And again, if you're on mobile or Xbox, make sure you hit that interactive button so you can get that vote in. Thank you for that follow, Worthless Gaming. If I don't read your name out, I am very sorry. There's a lot going on today. 37% of you have voted to close the northwest zone with nobody in it. And we just missed a kill. Oh, All right. Ravenclaw got that one in. Fights are breaking out all over. People are getting quite concentrated. Make sure we keep our eye on this one. Irish managing to get a shot on Enta. Thank you for all of those follows. Puppy dog dude. Guts. Ryru. Loving it. All of it. Easy, Irish. And there goes the fight. Four players remaining. Enta, what do you think your odds are this round? Oh, there we go. Helps if I keep my microphone toggled in the right way. Enta, how you feeling? Uh, that was a little sloppy. You know, hopefully I can clean up these fights a little bit that better. That was a bit of a Next prolonged turn. fight, and you are looking... Um, you you yeah. did take that one hit that you couldn't quite heal. No. Audience, there are four people left, and I've got enough points to do one of two things. We can either nuke a zone, or we can throw a manhunt. I want to see this in chat right now. What do you guys want to do? Should we put a manhunt out there? Our competitors are spread out a little bit, or should we drop that nuke? Oh, I'm seeing a lot of votes for nuke, nuke, nuke. I'm seeing a couple for manhunt. Center zone is about I tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, center zone is closing. I think that's made the decision for us. Let's go ahead and put that manhunt out for a vote. Enta, how do you feel about manhunts? Uh, top four? Not, not so good, but, you know, I'll take whatever. Beggars right. can't be choosers. Midget, how do you feel about manhunts? Uh, oh, oh! We didn't get a chance to find out because Ravenclaw, by a coin toss due to 21 even votes, has been nominated as our manhunt victim. How do you feel, buddy? I'm, uh... I can do this. I believe in myself. You are stuck in the middle of a closing zone, and you've got... Oh, no, you're not. You're on... You're, you are down to the southwest. I was reading the map a little bit wrong there. Quite confident. I will say, all eyes have turned toward you, my friend. Good luck. Oh, of course. Of course. That Sorry about that, Midget. We got pulled away because the vote happened. You gonna try to get that manhunt, or are you gonna <laughs> wait on the outside and pick people off? I don't know. I'm still, still deciding. Making those decisions. Dang. You got this, buddy. Dude, I have no arrows. It's, I'm <gasps> fucked. Oh, that's rough. That is rough. Well, there's at least one ahead of you. There's a tree up ahead. Good luck, my friend. Oh, everybody's after that delicious, delicious loot crate. I think we need to speed somebody up, spectators. Who are we going to speed up? Should we give it to our manhunt target, Ravenclaw, or should we give it to somebody who's close to him so they can take him out? Your vote will decide. Got midget putting up some trees. Ravenclaw, they give and they take in equal measure. They want to see you survive this manhunt. They're giving you the speed to get away. Oh, this could be a bold move. It looks like he's... Okay, I thought he was going to go through that portal and try to transport himself through a closed zone. I've seen it happen. With enough of a heavy fur cloak, he's got the ghost cloak, not the warmest out there, but with enough of a level 5 cloak and some speed enhancements, you can make it. He does have a speed potion in his backpack. He could make this work. Got Midget closing in on Ravenclaw as we speak. He can see him, of course, from anywhere on the map. If you're not familiar, that's what the manhunt does. For a minute and a half, the, the victim of the manhunt is available to everybody on the map. There is no hiding. There is no getting away. And whoever kills the manhunt target manages to pick up a really nice loot chest. In this case, there's only 12 seconds left. Buddy, you've only got 10 seconds left on this manhunt. It looks like you're going to take carry it away. Ravenclaw is playing the strong silent game. He managed to back himself into this cave really well. Let's hear it for Ravenclaw. Look at that. Picking up that beautiful treasure selection.
Enta find oh no Enta and Dank finding themselves in the closing zone look at those arrows Enta showing no mercy on Dank well played Spectators, we've got some cold players right now. F? F, Harsh Marsh? Who are we going to give some warm-up to? Enta, it seems they really like you. Enough to give you a warm-up after you've started yourself a fire. Well, thank you, Chad. I appreciate it. By 23 votes, Raven's no less. Fighting midget. I respect it. Not gonna oh, work. Yeah, I'm though. Oh, and an energy shield at just the right moment. Midget manages to get a good shot off here. Our competitors push themselves away. Ravenclaw, we are at the top three, by the way, just so you know. Oh, yeah, man. This is intense. Does spying on Midget, trying to get a good bead on him. Fires that arrow and misses. That, that will alert Midget to his presence. Midget still being tracked. Looks like that tracking information may be coming from Ravenclaw at this point. Ravenclaw indeed is the one tracking Midget, but he's making his way over to this electronic. All of our competitors are splitting up a little bit. I think we need to do something about that. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get them into one place, shall we? They're spread out pretty evenly. We've got Midget on the border. We've got Enta down in the southwest zone. And right now, over here, picking up this electronic, we have Enta in this dead east zone. What are we gonna close? That's it. They're bringing everybody to you, Ravenclaw. They have voted to, to nuke the southeast zone. All right, Midget, right on that border, making your way, huh? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm over on Enta. I clicked wrong. How you doing, buddy? <gasps> He's going to close right in on Midget. Midget hiding in those trees, looking for cover. And he goes right across the tripwire. Midget has been baiting him all along. Oh, off into the Forbidden Zone. Enta trying to keep Midget pinned a little bit. Midget's cold meter filling very quickly. Oh, this is annoying. Midget taking that cold damage. Trying to keep himself warm. Enta is out. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. We are down to the last two. Ravenclaw versus Midget. Midget breaking that trap. And Ravenclaw manages to close out the round. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. Man, that was an excellent fight, fight my friend. Like, shit. You know we do it. You gotta win my way. Let's go, baby. All right, now let's Easy make sure we get a nice clear view boy. of the fight here. Fear it sooner. Let me know when you've got that screenshot you were looking for, my friend. And we will start preparing for the next round. In the next round, let me check that ever lovely scoreboard. Because my bot doesn't seem to be. Well, it would help if I could type. There we go. TDP leaderboard. That should... Oh, come on. Bot. Play along just a little bit today. Is enabled. It is saved. All right. Here. What I'm going to do... I'm going to copy and paste this in the chat directly. Right there is the leaderboard if you want to see how all of your favorite competitors are doing right now. I'm going to set up for the main menu, and we're going to start preparing for the next round. Of course, fire. I'm going to give you a chance to... Uh, do the things you need to do. Start assembling people. Let's see here. Roll call for match F. We are going to be facing off here. We're going to have Primal Cinder, Fizzy Wiz, I Hold Shift, Guts. I know you're out there. You're up next. Nomblet, It's Venomous HD, Flight Master, and Chief in TV. We're going to have an eight player round coming up here pretty soon. Busy Wiz, I don't know if you're watching my stream or not. If you are, we're calling for you to check in right now, my friend. Sana, oh, you are right on top of things. Awesome. We've got Fizzy checked in. Sana, am I going to be on hold for the next round as well, or is it going to be go as soon as I've got people? 
Awesome. We're going to go ahead and keep things on hold. What do you think of that round, ladies and gentlemen? Is there anything you'd like to focus on more? Do you have favorite players I should be paying more attention to? Do you want to give me suggestions on how to vote? I want to hear it from you in the chat. You need to tell me what power should I use? When should I use them? If I'm not using them the, to your satisfaction. Uh, there are, of course, a few powers in my repertoire as show director that I can't give to you as a vote. Dropping electronics, for example. If you've got a place you want to see them, let me know. Uh, similarly, I can't really put Gravity Storm to a vote because Gravity Storm affects the entire map. Use Manhunt earlier in the game. Guts, would you say I should use that in the first five minutes? Get out of here, Pocket Pack. You're not welcome. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Guts, of course, rigging his next match. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Use that, use that right away. Keep in mind, the very soonest I can use a manhunt because it's a five-point power is at the two-minute and 30-second mark, I think. No, I start with I start with two points. It's 30 seconds per point, so at a minute and a half, I could drop a manhunt. Pocket Pack, you are here for the official Darwin Project Community Spotlight Showdown right now. Uh, the best players of Darwin Project every, every week, according to this My Career button here, which, of course, I'm going to show you my ranking, which is horrible... Look at this sad, sad score down here. Where's my whiteboard? I don't have it installed yet. Let's add that real quick. Looking at my horrible little score down here, I'm pathetic at this game. But the people who are better than me, that at the end of any given week, place in the top 100, as you might see here, these people get to play in a weekly tournament. And if they do well, they can qualify for this lovely... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Come on. Play nice. X-Split. X-Split, please. They can qualify to win either a gold or silver version of this skin right here. The best players are not me. This is very true. That game did go very fast, which is kind of what happens when you've got these people. Although we did get down, I think, to that final zone. We just didn't get to sudden death. KY Gaming, good to see you here, my friend. Yeah, guts. I've told you I'm horrible, and this week has been worse than normal for me. You can see here, my friend, looking at my, my sad little stats, I've got a total lifetime two wins. And you know when those two wins happened? You remember how last week they reset the leaderboards, and there was like a three-hour window, and then they went, oops, we have to reset them again? That's when I got my two wins, is in that window when it didn't count for anything. It's good times. But <laughs> I can do better. As a show director. Now, I'm still not as high up in show directors as I would like to be. In fact, holy crap, I've dropped a lot this week. Y'all got to vote me five stars for directing for you here. But uh, I used to be top 200. Let's just go ahead and close the screen out. It's just, it's making me sad. We're not going to show that screen anymore ever again. We're going to pretend that didn't happen at all. Uh, go ahead and set up the lobby now. All right. I've got instructions to go ahead and bring up the lobby for you guys. This will take just a minute. We're going to get it over to... I always know I'm pronouncing his name wrong, so I'm just going to go with Sana. We're going to get that information over. Yeah, there is a Dammit Rooster in the top 10. I just talked to him this week. He may be a mixer host for future tournaments. We'll see what happens with that. Sana, incoming room code for you, my friend. If you are in match F, I believe we're on at this point. At this point, you will be getting a message from Fira, Fira da Sana, whose name I'm butchering every time I say it with uh, the room code very shortly. Be sure to keep your eye on your Discord as we speak, and we'll watch for you all to start filling up the room here right away. There's not supposed to be any food in the arena. If you find something that appears to be food, please contact a complaint. Audience, it's been suggested. Oh, I'm doing great, KY. It has been suggested <laughs> that uh, I'm watching like three different chats happen right now. It has been suggested that we should use Manhunt earlier in the round. How do you feel about that? I always like to use my first five point big power as um, Gravity Storm to really get people moving around. But what do you think? Manhunt? Here, let's set up a poll, shall we? Infernum, start up a poll for me. I'd like to hear from our uh, audience. Which of the five point powers should we use first? Gravity Storm? Manhunt? Or Nuke? And let's get an official vote going here in my chat. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure what my bot yelled at you for, Puppy Dog, but I'm sure you didn't do anything wrong. If it was if it was something like all caps, don't worry about it. I gotta turn him down a little bit. Yo, Flight, have we ever played before? I don't know if he's here. I don't think he is. Wait, what? Wait, what? Have we ever played before? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Alright, chat, there should be a what? poll available at the bottom of my chat window right now. 
Click on that. Let uh, us know what's going on. Yo, this is your ethos. This, dude, this I think we already got our stack. answer, but I want to see that. Is. And like, it I wanted to hell? play match E. I wanted to play e match F. E, dude. Give me e match e. Dude, give me any other match besides this one. Give me EU. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> All right, we have oh, five of our eight for this match checking in. How y'all doing today, guys? Two people didn't come. We have two people who did not check in for this match. So we are running an eight-player round. Wow. Hey, is my character? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Yo, can, can I like leave and rejoin? Is that a thing? Uh, if you need to, absolutely. You have uh, until I start the match. Okay. Yeah, it looks like Havoc and Binky didn't queue up. All right. Yeah, I wasn't keeping track. I've got enough things juggling right now. I can't keep track. All right. I see the answer there to the poll audience. We'll be doing that. I'm going to save up those points at around the two minute mark. We'll fire that off for all of you to vote on. Ooh. Thank you, KY. I meant to turn that off earlier and I forgot. 90% have chosen what I'm going to use as my first power. We got it. Well, how, how are you already casting votes? Uh, over here on Mixer, we can run polls in our chat, and I'm hold I hold oh, a poll okay. to uh, see what powers they want to see me use first and early on. Thank you, Puppy Dog Dude. I try real hard. I enjoy the so story time. Red Green, hey man, how you doing? I watched the E3 presentation of of this game, and I heard the words Mixer Interactive, and I went, Ooh, I've got to have this. This this is my kind of thing. <laughs> But I really, at the time, I hated that whole shoutcasty intro they did. By the way, if you watch that E3 demo, that was Jeff Mod, Lord, that or, was Twitch yeah, TV's Jeff Rotol. He's gonna be running the finals Talk this afternoon clear. after I'm done here. Dude, I want that skin. But, I want uh, any skin, dude. But uh, I, want the devil I was like, the mod that whole shoutcasty thing, that was, that was dumb. Who, who's gonna play this game with that whole shoutcasty like, thing? Uh, like, I didn't know about the show that. director when they did that. And I have to say, I am so in love with being a show director. It is amazing. I get to influence the game. I get to listen to my own voice all day, which who doesn't love that? And uh, I'm just kind of finding I have a little bit of a knack for it. And I'm really right, loving this role. So getting the feedback that I that you enjoy what I do, I don't even I really, want to play, really dude. appreciate that. <laughs> Was this your first game, dude? Just a reminder, by the I'm way, gonna we are going to be having a survey after the end of my two rounds of hosting today. Stick around for that link. We really want to hear from you in the game. Tournaments. Yeah, in the game, I'm gonna go deliver you loot. I'm gonna farm all game and then walk up to you and just give you. A I don't kill. think they're gonna be coasting that in front. The instructions I have is that that's only gonna be uh, over on Darwin. I've actually got a button for that. Uh, well, well, uh, I know. I'll just say like my house. Is, like, and it's on my uh, closing title works. screen today. Yeah, that's how it works. Right? He had no idea. You Hate were to correct you. I know. I wish it were in both places, but it sounds like it's just going to be right now. Wait, I need a partner. All right. This is do it. Here, I'm missing somebody. Yeah, yeah, um, I call Fizzy. Hey. I call Thank you, sir. All right, everybody, we are missing one player. I've got my moderator tracking him down as we speak. Shit. Oh, yeah. I thought Shift said he wasn't going to had time to leave and come back. He come checked on. in, though. Oh, is it Shift? He did, but oh, I, I heard Shift. I heard uh, Shift didn't have his right uh, Steam ID, so they said he w they weren't going to allow him. Oh, I don't know. He's uh he's in the showing brackets. up in the news list, so yeah, I have that's to what he, he told me last night on the uh on the stream. I mean, you couldn't check in until this morning, so he could have just said that. No, last for the signups. For the signups. He was. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah he's in the bracket. They, yeah, it was what? weird. I don't know. Yeah, I don't he's know. He's in the brackets right now. You saw the docs page. The, I have yeah. official word that yeah. Shift is on his way as we speak. Fantastic. Awesome. Perfect. Is it just going to start with eight players, or...? We yeah, only yeah. have eight for this match, since two people did not check in. Ooh. Or declined, or whatever they did. Shame. It is a shame. I much prefer to torture ten Binky. people instead of eight. <laughs> so, important question... Oh, now we're all here. So, important question, here. eight of us here. Hey. Who's going to win, guys? We missed you. Uh, I he didn't really miss me. I did miss you. He just toggled, so we lost. GG. And... God damn. Oh, wait. No one's <laughs> allowed? Gentlemen, is anybody not ready to begin this craziness? I'm ready. Everyone's awesome. good, I think. Why All did right. we have to get such a stacked bracket, dude? I'm triggered. Uh-oh. Tell you what, boys, Stacks. this is the Darwin Project. It is all about survival of the fittest. You do not have to fight fair. You just have to survive. You're not the fittest. 
So are you telling me I can cheat? Fight. Here we go. Get fit. Ye. Audience, you should have a vote available to you right now. Should be right below this video. If it's not, F5 to refresh your stream. Or if you're on mobile or Xbox, push that interactive button to get the voting screen right now. We're going to go visit our crowd favorite in one more second here. Tabling those votes. Venomous with 11 votes. You are the popular player of this game. How's that make you feel? Makes you feel pretty good, bro. All right. You are in one of my favorite start spots. Your what? You are in one of my very favorite starting positions. Oh, yeah. I like this spot, too. Because I just, like, take the boom shroom down there to go kill someone. But I don't even know if anyone spawned. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's your copy of the map. I got a fight about to happen. I got to go check in. All right. Uh, over here in the Ewok Village, we got Primal Cinder and Guts. Guts with the high ground already has his eyes on Primal Cinder. I don't know if Primal Cinder is even aware. Let's get things from Primal Cinder's perspective. Primal's checking around. It looks like he knows who's nearby. Let's see here what our distance is. We're close enough. We can talk here. Primal, looks like uh, looks like you've got eyes on somebody, huh? Yeah, dude. All right. Checking back in. It looks like Guts is not interested in an early fight. Guts with only two hunter arrows uh, in his inventory here. We are saving up those points. Oh! With an early headshot, Gave Guts! Kiss. Gave him a little kiss. You sure did. Cinder, not sure what to make of that. Trying to find himself a place to stand. It looks like Cinder's taking the high road out of here. You won't take a headshot, dude, to hurt, man. Got Flightmaster sneaking Aww, in. Bitch. Flightmaster announcing himself to Guts with a most impressive method. There he goes. He's got that tracking information, not to mention he's running those hunter arrows. Always knowing where your opponent is is critical in this game. Oh, Guts managed to slip behind fire, getting that early hit. Let's watch him dance around the treehouse here for a little bit in the Ewok village. Those powers have activated. Ladies and gentlemen, you asked for it. It's early on. Let's see who you want to drop a manhunt on. Voting is now active on that manhunt. Oh, it looks like a double hit on that boom shroom, sending both Guts and Flightmaster flying. Venomous! My audience told me they wanted to see this vote happen early. They've chosen you for the manhunt, my friend. Damn. All the while, you're trying to get away from Chief in here, trying to keep, keep yourself hidden. Chief taking that early swing. Venomous coming from around the tree to knock him back. GG, bro. Chief and getting that heal and that first blood electronic. Oh wait, that was first, but I forgot there's only eight of us. There are only eight of you. You managed to pull it off early. Looking a little bit colder. We're going to go check in on this other fight we've got going on. Audience, I'm going to give you the option to close the zone while we do that. A lot of dancing around happening over here in this northeast zone. By the way, for those of you who are voting on closing a zone, this is the northeast section if we want to get these three people moving a little bit faster. Guts, Primal Cinder, and Flight Master running around. 33% of the audience does agree that this fight needs to get moving. That's a Flight Master trying to close on each other. Meanwhile, Primal Cinder took the notice and has run on out of here. Unbanned? What? Hello, hey. Eminent kid. Oh, I've lost track of the fight. Keep himself warm. W looking to finish off Flightmaster. One hit from the loss. There it is. Flightmaster is out with Guts taking that kill. Six players remaining. Primal Cinder sneaking back in on Guts. It's a bold move with only 14 seconds to go before this zone is closed. Meanwhile, we've got Noblet and Fizzywiz about to meet up over in the center zone, and nobody going after our manhunt target Venomous at this moment. And just like that, Guts finds himself in a frozen zone. No coffee, no warm-up cloak. He's got to make himself get out of the zone. 
What do you think, audience? You think we should help anybody out here with a speed up? Oh, oh Primal no. Cinder keeping him pinned inside the zone. That screen's getting real frosty for Guts. That parry keeping Guts held inside here. Look at that. There goes the, the cold damage is starting to apply. Oh, we've been moved over here. Oh, and Guts is down by a snowball from Primal Cinder. Primal Cinder running off of what he's what he got. Shift, we haven't had a chance to come say hi yet. Oh my gosh, and I still can't. I gotta go check in on a fight, hi. my friend. I'm letting Fizzy Wiz dancing around a tree over here. Get up above the fight and watch him from above. Raiden's arrows back and forth. A nice headshot from Nomblet, followed up by a second hit. Fizzy Wiz is looking a lot worse for the wear with only about 100 hit points left. And there it goes! Fizzy Wiz killed by Nomblet. Audience, we are down to only four competitors. We've got way too many zones. Legal Tender, good to see you, my friend. All right, now I can come say hi, Shift. How you doing, buddy? Hi, guy. How's the game going on your end? We're doing really well. We've got like 41 people watching right now. Oh, my goodness. That's incredible. 41 people listening to all your words. Do you have anything you want to advertise? <laughs> Watch out for the fur cloak strats. It's not OP as stated by the EU dev testers. There it is. And you can see that he's running a uh, cold cloak himself, a warm cloak. What are they? Fur cloak. Fur cloak himself. Level 5 fur cloak brings uh, near invulnerability to the cold. It means never building another fire. It what? Does it really? Him. I don't I don't believe you. In a tournament setting, this is definitely not viable whatsoever. Why would I be possibly doing this? <laughs> huh, Uh-oh, I got another fight going. We've got Nomblet and Venomous dancing around inside of a closed shed. Venomous, of course, was our survivor from that uh, manhunt contest when nobody put eyes on him. What do you think, audience? Should we put some bait out on the board? A lot of people dance around over here. I think maybe we put a uh, electronic in the center, make it a little bit more interesting. We hear what you think. Oh, this guy's falling over there. a tripwire. Making a quick escape. Of course, he is going to be lit up for the next few seconds because of that tripwire. Back over here, Noblet and his traps have tripped up Primal Cinder as well. A new electronic is available. All right, I got two votes for do it. Let's go ahead and drop this over here in the middle, see what happens. The show director is now activating an electronic. Get a little bit more perspective on the match here. They are trading those arrows back and forth like crazy. Noblet looking a little bit worse for the wear, but and managing to bring Noblet Primal Cinder down to his middle. level. Venomous in the middle picking up that precious electronic. Where has everybody gone? Noblet using that radar to figure out exactly Hi, where Primal Cinder is hiding. Mm. Nice Snapping that shot around that tree. Primal Cinder trying to get a bead. The next hit. Nope, no, nope, we're not there yet. Noblet looking a little bit higher on that HP. Trying to play the conservative game, it looks like. Both of our competitors playing the conservation game with those arrows. Those arrows are a precious commodity right now for both of them. Primal building a fire in the middle, taking a solid hit on Noblet. Snowballing against Primal Cinder. Primal Cinder coming right back down on his fire, but his fire is out. And there are goes seriously? Primal Cinder! I get knocked out by Stam Glitch? Three I'm sorry? Remaining. I got knocked out because he I got, got fucking out Stam, Stam Glitch. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, that's a, that's a rough fight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got people in the center zone. We've got two bodies over in the southeast. We've got shift, although he's dancing on that border. What do you think? Trying to nuke somebody? Order, welcome, welcome. Oh, and the fight rages on here in the middle. Venomous invisible sneaking up on Noblet, taking him out. And a nuke has been nominated for the central zone. 
shift. Not at all worried about that nuke because he is miles away. Uh, not even a little bit. But I'm not worried about some... this cold zone either, actually. No, not with that level five cold cloak. Look at you. Look at me. Not a viable strat though. Definitely not broken. <laughs> is this is this been a regular uh, commentary? Oh yeah, you know we're just out here hanging out. You know we're from the Great White North, so really anything that we can do to keep ourselves nice and toasty would be fine. Well, since I don't think you have to worry a whole lot about cold, I wonder if the audience wants to give uh, your competitor Venomous a warm up. Let's see what they say by vote. Up, oh, you guys better warm me up. I'm getting a little chilly. I lied. Shift is halfway to cold. He seems to be worried about it. What do you guys think? I'm very worried. I'm very worried about the cold. I need this warm up and I'll donate a dollar. Oh, they gave it to Venomous. Shifts, please, did him no good. Venomous, there's a free warm up for you, my friend. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for that follow. Hey, my bot is finally announcing the uh, link to the live scoreboard as we speak. One more quick peek at that scoreboard. This is how our competitors are going to be ranked and what points they score based on how they place and what kills they earn. Meanwhile, over here, we've got Shift. He is in a frozen zone. I'm Look so cold. He is dropping. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> what, am, what am I going to do with uh, this, Wolfstar? I don't a, know what to do. A I'm single cold. fire bringing him all the way to half heat already in the middle of the frozen tundra. Venomous trying to figure out where he is. Venomous looking for those precious clues. And there it is. Is he doing the fur cloak shit? Or he's just sitting in there with fur cloak? He might be uh, ha sitting there with a level 5 That's fur cloak. Thought. Yeah, then he's doing that. That's what I thought. <laughs> Southwest zone. And that's it. The zone is closing to the middle zone. Not much left here. There's already an electronic in the middle. I don't have a whole lot I can offer. Both of our competitors are at full power. Invincibility. Do you guys want to see invincibility on the final two? I don't think so. But you tell me. It's your game. Shift hitting that tripwire. That tripwire leading to his armor getting broken. Venomous keeping him pinned behind a tree. What's up, Venom? How's it going, Dad? Oh, why are you abusing that shit, bro? <laughs> what do you mean? It's a it's a feat. <laughs> Ooh, free tripwires. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you, Cryptic. I don't like to see either one of those. Yeah, I'm sorry. I keep turning it on for like 30 seconds and I keep turning to turn it off. Thank you for telling me. Both of our competitors playing on the outside edge of this zone. With any minute now, this zone is going to start closing in for uh, sudden death. It's an interesting strategy they both got going on here. Oh, looks like Shift is moving into the middle as I said that. Undoubtedly, he's going to be starting up the uh, the zone to his liking here. Trying to control that battle is an important strategy, as you know. Final sudden death is coming very soon. Venomous. Wait, shit! You're telling me you took lumberjack and just Seven. did this the entire game? Uh, he is indeed running the lumberjack axe. That does mean he gets crafting and uh, harvesting faster than normal. It's totally balanced. There's nothing wrong with this build at all. <laughs> I wonder if he's got a campaign he's launching here. Is he really gonna sit out there and just like, I'm gonna die because of this? I don't know. I mean, he's he's playing in the cold. That's what I'm wondering here. But uh, yeah, it's hard to say. I have a warm coffee at least. I think but he's trying to prove a point about this build. I might actually die because of this. Well, the good news is the, the sudden death doesn't close completely. It just gets to be a really tight zone. It will stop toward the end. Oh, I didn't know. I thought it would just keep going. No, nope. It goes real fast, and here in a minute it's going to go slow, but it does tighten down. I think it's about a 15-meter final arena, and it does not close any further than that when it's done. Uh. Over here, hanging out in the cold with a fur cloak, we've got Shift. Light and fire is keeping himself warm. He can probably hang out here as long as he's got wood. He's got nine wood stacked up in his inventory. He is in no risk. And then, kid, you'll see that uh, Shift here, he's got a level five fur cloak. With a level five fur cloak, 
You take almost no damage from the cold, even in a closed zone or even on this side of the walls. Oh, he's tossing snowballs at Venomous, trying to get his attention. I think he is closing in for that final match at this point, tossing snowballs. Actually, she's a Definitely seeking to frustrate Venomous. It seems to be working. Trying to get his opponent off balance. Shift, how much wood do you got, bro? I don't know if Shift's going to answer that question. I don't know if I would if I were I him. I have three warm coffees, so... And we have reached the point where the walls have slowed down. They have not stopped yet, but they will here in just about another minute. Dude, you're such a cheeser. <laughs> if doing his best to stay warm. Are you just trying to coffee? like by default get second place because of long is lasting? What are you doing here? <laughs> Shift just seeking to frustrate his opponent. I feel like you've been reading Sun Tzu's Art of War. It's it's a thing, you know. It's a real strat. If your opponent is of choleric temper, seek to frustrate him at every opportunity. Sun Tzu. Venomous, I think he's playing with you, my friend. He is. He's doing the cheese strat. You know, I think it was Sun Tzu in Art of War who said, if your opponent is of choleric temper, seek to frustrate him at every opportunity. I do believe at this point the walls close. have stopped closing in. This is as small as the arena is going to get. Yeah, let's see how long you can stay out there then. All right. Shit, don't make me turn on low gravity, my friend. Nobody likes that. You can do whatever part. the hell you want to do. I don't, I don't care what you put on. <laughs> now, you do know that the arena is not going to get any smaller than it already has, right? You're not going to be able to freeze. Oh, yeah, like I this. know. It just really comes down to how much wood he has. Ah, you're just trying to time it here. Okay, okay. Maybe. I don't have to play fair, but he makes a good point in that even if I do turn on low gravity, it's not going to help at all at this point. The only thing I can really do is sit and watch. I can offer a heal, but hold shift. He's able to sit here and farm the cold. He can get trees for days as long as he wants to. He's going to go in. You finally coming in? Nope. You've got it absolutely right, Legal. It is absolutely a war of attrition, and it is a war that it looks like Shift is going to be winning. Now, Venomous Time does wasted. still have a coffee in his inventory, and he has a heal kit that will buy him curious, some time. Here, but at this point, Shift has very little incentive to come in and and, and uh, bring the fight to Venomous. It really is Venomous' fight to lose, unless you can find a way to draw Shift in and take him out. It is only three hits to close shift out of this match, but Venomous has got to be able to get there and take him out. Venomous missing that pressure shot. He's not going to get very many opportunities to try to take out shift. Venomous also has no wood left in his inventory, although he does have one hot coffee left, which will bring him completely to full uh, heat in about uh, five seconds, I think. But that is his last chance here. Meanwhile, shift down to his last wood. That cold is going to cause him some more damage. That's right. It's going to be a tight fight here. Who's going to win the War of Attrition? The that, War of Attrition. The, the War, war of, of Attrition that we started bro. here. I'm not going to give anything away as to who's got what. It's going to be an interesting fight to watch for sure. Both of them laying traps trying to get the other. Venomous lighting up the trap that shift his place, trying to take them out. Further depriving him of wood and other resources. Can't quite get in there and close out that other trap. Shift trying to repel him with that arrow. It should be pretty close, Sana. Venomous trying to get in invisibly to sneak up on shift. Can he pull it off? Taking a step outside the zone. Shift not taking the bait, keeping himself moving, keeping himself ahead of his Are opponent. we just trying to, like, get second place here, or what are we doing? I don't know. I guess so. 
because it's time. It goes by time survives. So I mean, <laughs> I know, dude. <laughs> so is this what your plan was? That is a valid dude, the strategy whole plan is, here. This, this is a this is not a viable strategy. I don't know if you did you not hear that by the EU dev testers. It's not viable. You can't actually do this. It's not viable <laughs> in tournament settings whatsoever. Uh, are we supporting alternates to see? Uh oh. Out of range. Oh, there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, for those who keep the score at home, that is the last wood for shift. That's fucking incredible to me how much you had. Oh no! Oh! I shot! That's a sad whiff to see. Is it right? Venomous has used up his last coffee as well. Oh, how did that not hit? Yo, literally, Axe hits boxes, by the way. Yeah, Axe hits boxes, by the way. <laughs> oh, it's getting close. There it is! <laughs> Venomous taking so out everybody's favorite troll shift. It's okay, it's not viable. I didn't just finish in the second place spot in the tournament. <laughs> nope, not viable at all. I think he's got an axe okay. right here, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Bro. I didn't get a single warm-up from this director, it's a one star for me. Oh no! <laughs> Oh my god. There it is, dude. ladies and gentlemen. You have watched the two <laughs> pre qualifying rounds here on my channel. Son, let me know when you've got your screenshot that you need. A 20 minute fight. Look at that. 20 minutes and 34 seconds. Darwin Project, I am so glad you were here. I'm glad I got a chance to tell everybody about, to let everybody see this. What a troll match that was. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've had fun here or if you haven't had fun, we'd really like to hear your opinion. Please click on that survey link in my chat right now. Let us know what we could do better, what you'd like to see us do in these community events. We really want to hear from you. We want your feedback to help shape these community events in the future. In the meantime, now that my matches are over, in just a few minutes, we're going to be taking the uh, finals over at twitch.tv slash Darwin Project. That's going to be hosted by none other than Jethro Tall. If you saw the original E3 announcement with the shoutcaster they had on site, that was Jethro himself. He is an amazing shoutcaster. I think you'll have a real good time watching his stream. I want to thank you all for being here today. Uh, I don't know when I'll next get the opportunity to be the uh, community streamer, but be sure to keep an eye on me. I will be around. I'm in the community. I'm a moderator for the game. Well, enforcer for the game. Uh, and, you know, I just like show directing from time to time. I also like to play as inmate. So if you believe me, you'll know it when you see me because I'm an easy, easy kill. I want to thank you all for being here. I want to give a special thanks to my moderators, Coder, Counting Coup, Infernum. Thank you all for being here. Will do. I see your note there, Coder. Uh, Darwin Project also, thank you for being here. Thank you for hosting me. Thank you for the tweets. I love it all. Guys, I'm out for the afternoon. I'm going to go over to Twitch TV. I'm going to make sure I catch that finals, and I'll see you all there. Take care, guys.